What's up everyone, it's Bucky and welcome to your 10th C tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called logical operators. Now what a logical operator lets you do is make a complex condition or a complex test. In our last tutorials, uh, we learned that we can make a test using like, um, if number is less than 40. And this was just a simple one test that you could use. But say you wanted to test multiple things in the same if statement. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use or how to do just that. And by the end of the tutorial, you're going to see how useful it really is. So the first thing we need to do is get two variables. I'm going to make mine int i's in, uh, yeah, that's all we need right now. And let's put int toes. Next, let's set them equal to a value in or actually let's have the user enter a value so let's put print f um, enter number of eyes and toes and there we go right there I guess that's all we need and then this will pop up prompt and then on the next line let's give them a way that they can actually enter that if we're gonna tell them to enter it um, let's put percent %d percent %d we're going to have two variables. The first one is ampersand eyes. The second one is ampersand toes. And this is going to give you whatever values you entered are going to be stored in eyes and toes. You should know that already from my last tutorial. Next, let's get to what we've been waiting for this tutorial, our logical operators. You make an if statement. And in the last tutorials, we could test one thing, like if eyes is exactly equal to 2, or we could test something like if toes is exactly equal to 10. But let's say we only want to execute a block of code if below, uh, excuse me, if both of these are true. So anytime you want to make sure that two test conditions are true, you add two ampersands in between them. Two ampersands in between two separate tests means and. And this means test this and test this. If they're both true, and only if both of them are true, then we want to want you to execute this block of code. And what block of code, you might ask? Um, let's just print. Let's copy this for ease of time. Let's um, put you are normal. Since if you have two eyes and ten toes, then you're normal. Else, let's execute... Um, what are we going to say? Copy, paste, that's right. Um, what are we going to write? You are weird. And I apologize to people without two eyes and ten toes, but this is just for ease of programming. So let's go ahead and compile, execute, and run this. And let's enter our values. And then after, I'll show you guys another neat little trick. Enter number of your eyes and toes. So two eyes, enter, ten toes, enter, you are normal. Since it checked this test right here, and it checked this test right here, and since both of them were true, it said you are normal. But what if you enter only and one of them are true and the other is false? What if you enter two for eyes and nine for toes? Well, let me show you two for eyes, nine for toes. Since both of those test conditions aren't true, it went to the default else statement and said, you are weird. Now, again, as I told you, two ampersands or and signs means that only execute this code if both of the conditions or all of the conditions are true. There's also another neat little thing called a logical or, and this is two little straight up and down lines. And as you can see, this is the line. If you hold in shift, it's that little key above enter on your keyboard if you're using a regular keyboard. And two little up and down lines means or. And what or is means if this one or this one is true, unlike two little and signs where both of them has to be true, only one of these things has to be true for this code to run. Or if they are both true, it'll run. But if they're both false, then it won't run at all. So you can either enter two 
in 10, or you can enter anything in 10, 2 in anything, but if you enter, if you don't enter 10 for this one, or you don't enter 2 for eyes, then it won't execute. So let me uh, compile and run this, and I'll show you guys what I'm actually talking about. Remember in our and statement when we entered two for eyes and nine for toes, it it uh, was false. But if we enter two and nine, once you press enter, as long as one of them is true, it should say you are normal. And the only way that your or statement is going to be false and not going to run this, if you enter a number for eyes that isn't two, like four, and you enter a number for toes that isn't ten like 13 and it says you are weird so again to reiterate one last time two and signs test all the conditions and if they're all true it runs a block of code an or sign looks for only one condition and as long as one of these tests is true it's going to run that block of code and this is real useful when you're testing multiple conditions and looking for um, many things that you want to find true or looking for just one thing you want to find true and it helps condense your code and we're going to be using this a lot later on so make sure that you learn it so I'm going to be copying all this code and putting it to my website thenewboston.com so if you want it you have to go there and get it but for now pay attention to this tutorial make sure you learn what I'm talking about um, make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time